Welcome back. Between trade, tariffs, and low commodity prices, 2018 was a trying year in agriculture for many. We spoke with Kevin McNew of Farmers Business Network, an economist, for his perspective. It's been a rough last few months here. The good news is there are some silver linings out there. China and the U.S. are moving forward with some positive developments. We saw China buy a million metric tons of soybeans. There was discussion this morning about them even coming to the U.S. for corn. That would be monumental. So, you know, it's still a long way from fully, you know, getting us to better prices, but it's a step in the right direction. You know, I don't know that anybody wants to go back about six, seven years when we had $7 corn. I don't know that that was necessarily the answer, but it seems like there'd be a nice place where, uh, where maybe there's a point where guys could maybe make a little money and, and things not spiral out of control, I guess, either direction. Yeah, you know, that's the problem with farming. It's, it's, never, it's never the middle of the ground. It's always boom or bust. And, and so that's what farmers always have to face is how do you manage that risk? And here at FBN, that's what we're trying to do is help you make decisions in an uncertain world and change that paradigm to a more profitable structure. You know, margins are razor thin. I mean, you, you need a team of people kind of on your behalf to try to help you make a little money at the end of the year. Yeah, exactly. You know, we have a team of crop marketing specialists that work in this paradigm to help you. Uh, you know, we're getting into health insurance. We're getting into crop insurance. We're doing a lot of things that the farmers have asked us to do to help improve their bottom line. You know, certainly, as you said, though, the, 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 that tariff situation is retaliatory tariffs, especially on soybeans. That's, that's a pretty tough situation. We'd like to see that wrap up as quickly as we can in agriculture. Absolutely. You know, it's been a painful five months. I think we're going to be feeling the ill effects of this for several years to come. So even if we do get a resolution, we do get back to free trade with China, we're still going to be dealing with no business for six months for quite some time in the future. Uh, and the reality is there are probably some people who are going to get out of the business. There, are, We've seen some bankruptcy numbers. There, there are going to be some auctions and some sales. and. That's the decision that some people are going to be forced into, I, I suppose. Yeah, that's the, that's the brutal nature of a market in economics. So, you know, there are people that are pressed to that limit, and we've seen it from the Minnesota Federal Reserve. Yeah. You know, the data there is not appealing. And, and unfortunately, I don't see a big shift coming that changes that pain point for a lot of farmers that are feeling it right now. But if you can survive, there will be some opportunities in the future. Absolutely. Long term, you know, the world is growing. The world is growing to a more middle-income population that wants protein. Grain is going to be needed to grow that protein in the form of livestock. So long-term, there is a demand. And we as U.S. farmers have to have free markets to capture that demand. You know, I've long been told that the American farmer can compete with anybody in the world as long as there's a level playing field. I mean, with that, those trade barriers removed, the American farmer can pretty much outproduce anybody. Absolutely. You know, American farmers need free trade. That's what they thrive on because they need access to open markets. They are the most efficient producers in the world. All right. Well, Kevin, I appreciate your time. Yeah, thank you, Steve. It's nice to have a couple of mild days after all the cold and snow. This is a look inside a tractor cab in what farmers in southwest Nebraska were dealing with recently on county roads thanks to the snow. It took hours for this farmer to bust through all the drifts just so the animals could be fed. And with the lows that they had in the single digits, well, that snow, it started to melt, but some of it's going to be sticking around for a while. Weather's up next and later. Not all farm families think they're living on the farm, but we'll meet a family trying to stay connected to its farm root. 